What's going on guys, Orzi here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we are reviewing the brand new objective card and it is going to be Delefeu. Now Delefeu is pretty easy to get. All you have to do is win 15 games, score 30 goals with Serie A players, assist 20 goals with Serie A players. I believe you have to get 4 through ball assists and I believe you also have to get 6 finesse shots in separate games. So fairly easy to get, it's just more you know time consuming than anything. I did manage to do Delefeu in around 2 hours, so yeah we did get a lot of rage quit. But you know, I feel like we could have done it a bit quicker but it is what it is he's got 94 pace 91 dribbling 83 shooting 83 passing with the 72 physical so straight up looks like an amazing card he has five foot ten so five foot ten is not a bad height obviously he's no six foot six foot one so you can't be you know guaranteeing those back stick headers he's a decent height so if it does come to the occasion of him trying to win a header he might win it and he might not it's kind of a 50 50 he has got a high low work rate which means he's going to be up there ready for the counter attack and he's not going to be on defense at all he's got four star skill moves and four star weak foot for a winger we all know that's absolutely amazing now he is on a marksman chem style and he is on 10 chem the reason i've went for a marksman is because i feel like he's just perfect you get the shooting that you need to get you get a dribbling that you need to get and you also do get a strength that you need to get it's just one of those ones where i feel like it's literally perfect for this card i feel like a finisher would not be perfect because you're wasting the agility it's already 99 so there's no need to upgrade it and obviously a hunter you could argue but once again i feel like he is going to be fast enough so you don't really need it he has got 95 acceleration and 93 sprint speed as i said pace he has got shooting 85 attacking positioning 93 finishing he's got 90 shot power 90 long shots 80 volleys and 90 penalties he does not have any shooting traits which is obviously disappointing but once again it is what it is just imagine this card with a finesse shot trait yeah we would be talking about an absolute clinical of a finisher but either way He's got 85 short passing, which is really, really good. 85 free kick accuracy, 84 crossing, 84 vision, and 93 curve. The only thing you can on honestly say is disappointing out of that is the long passing. 69 long passing is just going to be one of those ones where you're going to have to question it. Is he going to be able to do those over top through balls down the line? Most likely not. Now, when it comes down to dribbling, he looks unreal. I feel like for a winger this year, you need to have pace and you need to have a good dribble stat to the point where you need to feel good on the ball. And I feel like De Feu, with the 99 agility, the 90 balance, the 85 reactions, 99 ball control, 99 dribbling and 82 composure, he has to feel good on the ball, especially being 5'10 as well. He's literally got no excuse. Now, physicals. This is where it gets a bit questionable because 76 stamina is not good not good at all and that's where it's gonna kind of annoy me a little bit saying yes understand it is a free card and yes it does look look like a very good card but it's a card that you're not going to be able to use throughout the whole 90 minutes which means you are going to have to get a super sub for this guy or use this guy as a super sub he has got 84 strength which is absolutely insane for a winger and he also does does have 66 aggression now the links Andres Pereira, you got Alexandra, you got Correa, you got Allen, you got Suzuka, and you got Adama in this team. I will be using Delafeu in a 4 4 2 in that striker position simply because I want to try out his finishing ability, but I will also try him in his natural position down the wing in a 4 2 3 1. But let's get into the games. Pereira, going to try to give it to Delafeu here. This is it, fake shot. Bruro, this is Bellowing, keep that in mind because he is extremely fast, we all know it. Go down the line. Keep going down the line. Use that strength. Oh, he kind of used his strength when he was obviously going into that shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder situation with Bellerin. But at the same time, I kind of ruined it with the fake shot. Delfo. A few step overs. Give me the angle. Put that cross goal finish. And Pope is actually going to save it. Really nice acceleration boost by him. Delfo on the edge. Like Oketa. Ball roll. Give a few step overs. Go up. Black Oketa towards the outside. Can I get my first finish? Great defending for my opponent. You really can't, can't go against it. But how De La Feu is obviously feeling on the ball right now is absolutely unbelievable. Love how he keeps the ball very close to his feet. I love his little agile dribbling as well. Quick one, two. Get him going. RBY all the way down line. Come on. Use that pace. Try to get around the corner. He has used the pace to be fair to him. Outside. R1 dribbling, cut into the inside, go for the finesse shot and Pope is going to go for another big save. Unbelievable dribbling to obviously get the angle, but we cannot get that final little bit. Delafoe is wide open, he's going behind. Can I get a decent ball? No, I cannot. I love how I actually didn't even have to trigger that run. He just realised the centre back was out of position and went straight for it. Delafoe, there you go, come on, keep running. 
You're going down the line here. This is your natural, pretty much natural position. But look at the stamina bottom right corner, boys. It's the 84th minute now. And as you clearly can see, his stamina is pretty much all the way down. It's gone. It's done and dusted. You need to get a super sub for this guy. Son. Delefeo is once again, has he's made a really good run. I don't know how his stamina is going to catch up. I'm going to go for the Berber spin. Play Bamba in and Bamba is going to slot it home. I had to bring the big boys on. I had to bring Son, Bamba and I can't remember who the other person. Actually, yeah, there you go. Bella Rabi was the other person. And we are finally in like the 89th minute. Got a goal. This guy has played so defensively. It is ridiculous. Korea. He's made a good run. Fake shot. Lacoqueta towards the outside. That's good. Nice footwork. Can I go for a second assist? Yes, I can. I still haven't got my first goal with Delefe right now because his positioning is kind of awkward in that striker position. But I am going to still try. I've sent Delefe on a run here. Let's see if he can actually get in behind. That's something I am noticing. His pace is definitely, without a doubt, not as fast as the card actually says. Because I'm looking at him, right? Get outpaced by, like, the Klostermans, the Carl Walkers. And he's even been outpaced by, like, obviously the Varans and stuff. And it kind of gets on my nerves a little bit because he's got pace to his game, without a doubt. But he's not showing it for some reason. Delefe. RB dummy. Lacoqueta, cross goal finish, and this time it is absolutely perfect. As you clearly can see, I've changed the way I'm positioning. Like, I was up here, and now I'm down here. You best believe I am sweating against these kind of players. But De Feu, what a finish at a very tight angle as well. Pass it down, pass it through the gap, give it to De Feu. Hill to hill, fake shot, Lacroqueta towards the inside. Can we get our second finish? Yes, we can. A very similar goal, I would say. Same thing, pretty much, just going for a cross goal finish. And as you clearly can see, that power, the accuracy is coming into play. Sonnen. That's a nice fake shot. Take it very simple. Oh, come on. Oh, stop it. Stop it. I don't know what I said when I called out Son, but it is what it is. Whatever. Delefe making an amazing run. Me just acting like I was going to do something else. Completely doing the opposite thing. Poland didn't expect it. Went for the easy finish across goal. And once again, we have got an easy goal. Through the middle. So that's something I'm really enjoying. Like, he's, he's passing ability. That's an unbelievable finish, my god, son. But yeah, his passing ability is insanely good. Those short passes, you can really tell, like, the weight of the pass on how perfect it is. Suzoko, Talon, double way. Gonna try to go for a flick. One more flick. Oh, stop it. Oh, stop it. <gasps> Boys, all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, if he scores that, I'm walking out of this room and we're ending the review right there. It's simple. There's no way he had the cheek to go for a bicycle kick halfway through that shot. Telefoto, that's nice. Once again, ball roll. Oh, stop it. You know what? I'm going to go for the chip. I'm going to go for the chip. Ah, oh, why not? Telefoto with a quick turn. This guy's giving up, but hey, I'm just going to go for the easy finish. It is going to be a chip and it is going to go top bins. This guy's giving up. It's 5 3, now obviously being 6 3. It's an easy goal, easy finish. And it was pretty decent positioning by him, to be fair to him. So it is time to review him. Four games played, four goals with the three assists as well. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. The first two games, I did just end up leaving because I saw the teams they were playing with. It is Division 1, keep that in mind. And I saw Hullet. I saw Vieira, I saw Ronaldo and Mbappe. I'm sitting there thinking to myself, I'm not trying to sweat. I'm just trying to see how good De La Feo really is. And I'm not going to sweat against someone that has that team with Correa and Andres Pereira. It's just not going to happen. So I left those two games, went into the other two. And obviously, there were still really, really good opponents. But they didn't just have, you know, an amazing team with them. Either way, De La Feo, an outstanding player. Without a doubt, one thing I was disappointed about was his pace. His pace, without a doubt, is not 95, 95 acceleration and 93 sprint speed. It's just not. If you want to play this card down the wing, you are going to need a Hunter Kemp style. If you want to play this card in a striker position, Marksman, without a doubt, is the way to go. Now, his dribbling, without a doubt, was absolutely insane. Loved his skill moves, loved, loved the lack of ketters, the Burba spin. All of those skill moves were perfectly fine. I even saw his shooting. Obviously, as you clearly can see, four goals. I did see shooting. Power shots. Finesse shots. Both of those chances went in. Now, there was, I believe there was two chances that didn't go in that I felt like was clear cut. But, hey, you're not going to score every single chance in FIFA 21. That's just how it is. High low work rates in the striker position was interesting to see because... I thought he was going to be one of those players that makes those consistent runs in behind, but he wasn't. He was a player that did come short time to time. Four-star skill moves, four-star weak foot. You know I'm never going to uh, kind of go against that. Pace-wise, as I said, not expected. 
he's definitely not as fast as our opponents is, the Mbappes, the Neymars, the Dharma Traores, without a doubt. He is nowhere near them. And I definitely, as I said, put a Hunter Kim style if you want to play him down the wing. As simple as that. But for pace, I am going to give him, I would say, like an 8.4 out of 10. Really disappointing. Shooting. Now, as you clearly can see with the four shots, it was kind of clinical in a way. There were some occasions that he did miss it, which is obviously going to be disappointing. But I still feel like he does deserve a high rating when it came down to the shooting. So I am going to give him an 8.7 out of 10. Passing ability. Loved his short passes. Long passing, not that great. But the short passing was very uh, consistent. So for passing, I will give him an 8 out of 10 dribbling wise as i said the r1 dribbles amazing literally you could do this with the r1 dribble and your opponent would not know where you're going it's just as simple as that he felt amazing on the ball he felt amazing while doing skill moves as well so for dribbling i'm gonna give him i would say another 8.7 out of 10 physical stamina did not last about the whole 90 minutes as you clearly could see i even showed a clip where his stamina while running was absolutely gone in like the 85th minute so you are going to have to get a super sub for him strength was very impressive to see if i didn't screw up a lot of opportunities i felt like he his strength would have came in way more into play and that is something i did actually enjoy about him but for physicals i'll give it like a i'll give it like a 7.4 i feel like the strength is kind of saving it a little bit but an overall rating out of 10 He's not an insane card, but he's not a bad card. Not a bad card at all. And who would I say is better between him and like Inform Insigne? I would still go for Delefeu without a doubt. But an overall rating out of 10, I am going to give him, I would say an 8.4, maybe an 8.3 out of 10. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.